All right, hey everybody. Uh, looks like we are live and ready to go. Today is July 7th, 2022, and I just want to uh, welcome everybody back to the Daily Digital Design Show. Uh, today we have three topics here for you. The first one being the World Games that is finally taking place. Uh, it has been on hiatus for about two years now since the pandemic started. Uh, the next one is all about the fashion industry and what is taking over uh, with the metaverse. And then the last one being a little thing that's going on behind the scenes uh, with some artificial intelligence, which I actually think is pretty cool. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll jump right into it. All right. So if you follow the world of sports, uh, you would know right now the world games is happening uh, this was supposed to have taken place, I believe, in 2020, uh, but it got postponed due to the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus pandemic that occurred. And as you can see, it is starting off today, July 7th, um, was the opening ceremony for it. And if we kind of scroll down here, we can see the schedule. Um, X out of this guy. Uh, we can kind of see the schedule events that is actually taking place. Uh, one thing that I'm actually really, really excited for uh, is the Jiu-Jitsu, which is actually taking place on Friday uh, the 15th down there in Birmingham. Uh, there's a couple of other ones as well. Um, Muay Thai is taking place on the 15th as well, so I'm definitely going to be tuning in for that. Uh, but as we know, this is the digital design show, so we're going to be talking all about some digital stuff that's going on. And right now... It's a big time for the world of drones because as you can see, air sports, drone racing is now <clears throat> drone racing is now in full effect inside the world game, which is a big step forward uh, for drone owners out there uh, who actually do race their drones safely. Uh, the reason being is because once they're in the world games, they are now up for running to be in the actual Olympics. So can you guys even imagine what it would be like to have drone racing inside the Olympics uh, being considered an actual sport. Uh, to me, that is just wild. That is crazy. Uh, but as you can see, the way the world is turning, everything is kind of going digital now. Uh, and I've been a big drone fan for a very long time. I don't currently own one myself, uh, but have flown a few of them, and they are actually a whole lot of fun. Uh, so if you guys are interested in drone racing, I definitely do... Um, recommend you checking this out on saturday february or february wow uh saturday july 9th uh, i'm not sure exactly what time but if you're i mean if you're even actually able to make it out to birmingham alabama uh for this event i, I would definitely say check that out as well um to me that's going to be a real big player uh if you haven't heard of drone racing before i just want to kind of give you a quick sneak peek of what that actually looks like so with drone racing, as you can see here, these are the actual drone pilots. Uh, they are wearing some VR headsets because they wanna really immerse themselves in first person view of what they are actually seeing during the race. Uh, I'll go ahead and play the video here a little bit. All right. And some of these drones can actually fly up to about 90 miles per hour, guys. Uh, that's that's just wild to me. Imagine being in a car going 90 miles per hour, doing twists and turns and all this stuff. Um, just as you can see here on the screen, this to me is just simply amazing. I couldn't even uh, imagine being a drone racer myself. But people have been preparing their whole lives for this. It, it's 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 really big. And again. We are seeing this, as you can see here, they're seeing this in first person view at going, I don't know how fast. Um, yeah, it looks like they're going 20 miles per hour going through all of that, all of those obstacle courses. Uh, while we are actually seeing this in third person view, they're seeing it in first person view. Uh, so I can only imagine how much wilder it can get for that. Alrighty. And so the next thing is AI technology artificial intelligence um, it has been around for quite some time I don't even know when the first I robot <laughs> kind of thing then came out here um, but it has been around for quite a time they have been training it teaching it 
allowing it to learn as much as it needs to to do a lot of cool things a lot of scary things as well uh, but one thing that I want to share with you is AI generated artwork that can actually generate a graphic a digital graphic um, that looks like a real life human actually created um, just with a few code words uh, so this is one there's a bunch of them that are out there as well guys these are just two that I came across um, that I really like one being by Google uh, this is called the imagine and as you can see here they just typed in a cold word let's see a Pomeranian is sitting on the king's throne wearing a crown two tigers soldiers are standing next to the throne I can't even read that fast um, <laughs> let's actually move down and you can kind of see down here let's just say an extremely angry angry bird this image here with the bird an AI actually generate this uh, a cute corgi whoops here we go a photo why does it keep switching like that um, maybe because I'm on it a marble statue of a koala DJ in front of a marble statue of a turntable the koala has wearing large marble headphones and that's the image that actually creates um, a giant cobra snake on a farm the snake is made out of corn so this is a corn snake or whatever um, I mean these are actually really 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 good images uh, if you kind of delve into the world of graphic design um, imagery photography and stuff like that it's really hard to tell whether this is actually something that is unreal or if it is actually something that has been um, taken by an actual person uh, or if it's been photoshopped I mean this AI technology has definitely come a long way um, and then really you can give it really any code word so here I guess they let you click on it a photo of a blank uh, let's just say a fuzzy panda let's just say a Persian cat so we want to do a Persian cat um, wearing sunglasses and a black leather jacket and we want it to be skateboarding in a garden so now it takes all of those keywords that I just clicked on here um, and just generate an actual image of it and actually the one that I like better is called Dolly 2 uh, so there's already a Dolly 1 Dolly 2 is their next gen uh, AI generator they're gonna come out with a Dolly 3 as well kind of fixing a few of the bugs uh, for example Dolly 2 cannot recognize words that well uh, so if you tell it to get a picture of a stop sign that says STOP on it it might spell it wrong it might spell it uh, SPOT or something like that uh, just because it has some trouble figuring out words um, but it does do pretty well with like landscapes and whatnot um, and as you can see here they do the same exact thing uh, Dolly actually spits out 10 images for you um, all within like 10 seconds I believe uh, so as soon as you type in let's say um, this is do a bowl of soup a bowl of soup that is a portal to another dimension I like that drawn on a cave wall so this is one that they came up with I mean they just give you a whole bunch of different types of them uh, those don't have too much variation I like an astronaut lounging in a tropical resort um, as photorealistic I want to be photorealistic so yeah guys this is um I think that one looks actually really good that one looks really good so this AI technology can actually just generate and create some artwork for you uh, no matter what project that you're working on with me being a web developer I have to find images of stuff all the time uh, so not gonna lie I'm pretty much going to <laughs> gonna be using this quite often here um, they have different variations of this they can add stuff oh, I think this is a uh, yeah select location to add a flamingo so you can say add a flamingo out here outside add a flamingo inside add a flamingo here and then, you know just kind of switch this around of what the flamingo actually looks like I mean it's art generated um, is really pretty amazing so the original image of this dolly variations um, I mean that's that's close <laughs> that is really really close to what I'm not sure what they actually typed in 
Uh, Dolly can take an image and create different variations. Oh, okay, so it can take the actual image and then variate that as well. So you can take put an image of yourself and then let the AI actually work through it um, as well. So yeah, again, to me, I don't know. I like art. Um, I like original art. But the AI side is actually is actually pretty cool. I'm actually gonna look into that more. I'm not sure if Dolly 2 is open to the public uh, for anybody to use. It might be still like in beta mode, which is a lot of these AI systems are doing that as well. Um, but if I ever get a chance to, I plan to uh, use that quite a bit. Um, and then the last thing that I want to mention here with you guys today would be within the fashion industry and the metaverse. So. The metaverse, again, has been around for quite some time. Fashion has been around for ages. I mean, ages, 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 ages. Um, and right now, the fashion industry is doing something unique, which is allowing people to not only own physical clothing that they can wear on their person in real life, but they can actually own uh, clothing in the metaverse as well uh, from big name brands like Gucci, like Louis Vuitton. Um, fashion inside the metaverse. Um, I see two things with this, um, two actually big things. The first one being that it is more eco-friendly. Um, so to make the clothes that we have here today, it actually is a really big hit on our environment. Uh, and I, I don't think a lot of people actually stop to think about how uh, making all these clothes and using all the dyes and, and all the waste that we you know go through with some of these clothes. Uh, I don't think people really understand how tragic that is to our earth, to our world that we live in every single day. Uh, but with the digital items, uh, we can actually take some of those clothes that we wear in real life um, and essentially just have one version of it. But what we can do is have some sort of AR technology uh, that allows us to be seen in a different light. Uh, so for example, if I just wear a white t-shirt uh, with a black dot on it or something like that. Someone wearing some AR technology glasses can actually see that t-shirt um, and then recognize it through their AR, AR lens as being something completely different, completely separate. Um, another thing that it does is that I know there's a lot of people uh, that are really breaking the bank to actually own, let's just say some Yeezys or something like that. Um, what you can actually do is own a pair of Yeezys but on it inside of the metaverse where it's a whole lot cheaper in my opinion so so you no longer have to actually go into debt just to own a pair of yeezys or just to you know kind of keep up with the joneses and stuff like that uh, another thing that they are doing with this digital fashion is that they are actually allowing people to try on stuff uh so that they don't have so much waste have so much returns and whatnot there's this company out there called mirror uh, mirror being spelled M-I-R-R-A-R. -R -R. Uh, the A-R portion is just for augmented reality. And what they do is that they allow you to go, go ahead and try on uh, some of their products, whether it's jewelry, whether it's, um, uh, what's it called? Whether it's jewelry, whether it's bags and purses, uh, even furniture in your household, uh, which is something that Ikea has already been doing as well, using AR technology to allow you to see some of their furniture inside of your home before you actually purchase it. Uh, I believe Amazon has the same functionality as well. But this uh, company called Mirror is doing it also for just fashion and they're trying to be the, uh, I don't want to say the leaders in that industry, but they want to be uh, right there at the top. All right, so this is Mirror. Uh, if you go to their website, this is kind of what it looks like. It allows you to take yourself, an image of yourself, um, even just a video of yourself as well in real time and be able to try on some of these different products that they have uh, in the store for you. As you can see, she's wearing some necklaces, some earrings. Uh, I believe she tries on a diamond ring as well. Yeah, so she tries on a diamond ring as well, which is all, they, I mean, they look pretty nice. Um, they can definitely work on their AR uh, technology a whole lot better as you know every time she moves the jewelry doesn't really keep up with her that well but the technology is there all you have to do is keep refining it refining it re 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 enhancing it as well 
and then you know it'll just get even better all right so uh, definitely let me know what you guys think I'm very curious to hear if anybody's going to be attending the world games uh, I would wish I could actually be there especially again for the uh, jiu-jitsu stuff um, and let me know what you guys think about you know this fashion industry happening inside the metaverse because it's going to be a real big game changer in my opinion so yeah stay tuned for the next episode and until then you guys be safe